All right, so what is going on everyone? Swan here, and today this is a, actually a gameplay recorded from last night. Hold on, let me get right through the lineup. This is not live, just a disclaimer. Uh, Troy Tulowitzki, Carlos Beltran, Giancarlo Stanton, Paul Canerco, Tony Gwynn, Josh Harrison, Cameron Rupp, and David Freeze. Uh, as you can tell, every single live series player is playing down. We have Craig Gentry, I think that's how you pronounce it, Adrian Gonzalez, Kenny Vargas. You know, all these live players are just playing down, but I was somehow winning every single game. Uh, we got Brad Bo uh, Boxberger, Danny Farkar, uh, I think I think I know how you say it now, Joaquin, Joaquin Benoit. But as you can tell, literally everyone, my starters, my relievers, my bench, my starting uh, position players, they're all uh, playing down. So anyways, we get into a game after like 10 minutes of searching because when you're that high of a rank in Battle Royale, it's super hard. As you can tell, they got David Peralta, Neil Walker, Andre Dawson, Eric Thames, um, uh, David Wright, Lonnie Chisenhall, Evan Gaddis, Eduardo Nunez, Brett Cecil pitching. It's an all right squad. You know, I when I when I got into this game, like I said, another, I, I gotta say it again, this is not live. This is just a commentary over the gameplay. I just cut through the entire gameplay and picked out some good parts but as you can tell anyways oh yeah we have Sean Doolittle too we warm up uh Danny and actually do we warm up Doolittle yes we warm up Sean Doolittle and we got 90 I think 7 Troy Tulowitzki up to bat first pitch of the game I get a good call I get a ball on that and then he throws another one just like that except down low and he gets the strike um I was super pumped when I saw there was a lefty starting the game and that pitch right there I swear I squared it up so much. This game would have been completely different. You'll see why. I squared it up so much, and it just didn't go anywhere. That should have been a bomb. Tulo has power in this. And as you can tell, Beltron pops out. I don't know. I just cut it up. This is first take. I'm going to... Actually, this isn't like first take. I restarted the intro a couple times. But this is my first time actually uh, recording my voice over the gameplay, and I'm going to try and go all the way through. As you can tell, Stanton is up. Um... Stanton was absolutely destroying this whole run. Well, I think one game he had like two home runs with like four RBIs, and I hit that ball so hard. And that shift that they're playing just caused it to get stopped. I was so frustrated in this game. Um, you'll see, there's just so many little things that just like don't make sense to me. But anyways, as you can tell, David Peralta is up. I tried to get him to, to, to chase with a, a nice little slider down low, but... Figured that wasn't the best chasing pitch, so I, I tossed a change up down there. Kind of messed that one up too. A little bit too far right. Very easy to take it. So I was down 2 0 on the first batter. And I jam him with a fastball, and he swings, and it's just a perfect little running catch from Tony Gwynn. He hits it to center field. Um. I think it's Tony going out in center. It's got to be. Then I put in Danny, whatever, however you pronounce his name. I toss a little perfect cutter in there. Boom, get some swing, and that cutter is just filthy. I absolutely love his cutter. Toss a little, a nice curveball down there, and he's a little early on it, and grounds out to first base. So that was a solid play right there. Then we got big Andre Dawson up. This was my biggest fear the entire time. But I did play against him pretty well. Tossed a little changeup down there. He probably could have hit a bomb on that. Throw a perfect cutter again. And then gun him out at first. And so I was I was feeling pretty good. I was like, this guy, you know, he's chasing a little bit. He's uh he's uh playing alright though, so I don't know. And he tosses a 92 overall Diamond Fer Fernando Rodney, which is actually a really good card. I could not seem to hit it in this game. Um, he tosses a fastball in, tosses a good slider on the outside edge, which I, I can never hit those very well. Um, but anyways, I check his opponent's bullpen. He's got Trevor Rosenthal, who's a very good pitcher in this. David Price, which he never actually uses, uh, which was surprising. 84 overall. And then, but anyways, yeah, he keeps in Fernando Rodney. Tosses a nice slider right down the middle. I just need to get better at, like, that happens quite a few times, and I need to get better at just learning to keep it there and just wait on it. But anyways, Fernando, it's it's a 2-2 two -two count, and I get my first hit. I think that was Knurko. Uh I pulled a little fastball inside. Little, he tried to jam me. And look, there's two outs. Or there's no outs. What am I saying? No outs. Runner on first. Tony Gwynn grounds to the second baseman, 
and beats it out barely by a half step and so I was feeling pretty good right there Tony Gwynn and then Josh Harrison so I steal and I swing on a circle change rookie mistake a very slow pitch I don't know why I did that and then I go to steal again and he throws me a really high fastball so I was like screw it let's just pull the trigger again and of course he catches it and I have to go back and then Cameron Rupp is up and I try and steal again and he gets me he has 91 speed I think and he somehow got me so Eric Thames 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 whatever I don't know how you say it I don't know why I don't know that I watch so much baseball nowadays but I just don't pay attention to uh, his squad at all I believe he's on the Brewers um, but anyways toss a curveball down there and get him to chase so he grounds out to second base and uh, here we go here we got David David Wright, he's, uh, this is a little bit of a scary card, because he hits better for contact versus lefties, but his power is his righties, so it's kind of, it's hard to choose what you should really do with him, but anyways, I kept the, I kept the righty in, toss a good cutter on the outside corner, he probably could have taken that the other way if he, if he, uh, was more on that, but anyways, throw a toss, throw a toss, toss a little change up down there, a little bit too far outside, it's not going to get him to chase, so I toss a curveball over there, gets inside a little bit, but he's early and just chops it, so that was out number two, I believe, two, yeah, two, and here comes Lonnie Chisholm, and this scared me, so I tossed him a change up right here, and boom, he smashed it, and I was like, shoot, am I going to have to rob that? But then, of course, did that animation where you just catch it right there, even though you should be able to catch that in the air. But I was a little worried now. I believe it was the second inning. Yeah, bottom of the second. Evan Gaddis is up. And then I get him to almost chase with a little change up down there. Hold on, how much is left of this? we got about seven more minutes of commentating. High little cutter. Not the best pitch, so I was I was a little worried, but I did just to see when I paused right there, I checked to see who was on deck, and it was Eduardo Nunez, and I'd rather have someone on first and second rather than having a power threat at the plate. Um, so I tossed in Eduardo, threw a cutter inside, got him looking. That was only the first strike, though. Um, and then I toss, I think, a two-seam, and see, he's so hard to control. It's like such a short windup, so it's super hard. But anyways, toss another cutter in there. Perfect pitch. Get him to a uh, little jam shot inside out. Pops it into right field. And Stanton is there to catch it. And then Cameron Rupp is still up because um, cause, uh, Tony Gwynn got caught stealing. And then Rupp gets a hit. Just a few games prior to this, too, with like 40 contact and like 40 power, he had a three-run bomb against someone for me. He was It was crazy. He actually played pretty well throughout the series. And then, so as you can tell, we are at... Who's up right now? I don't even know who... Oh, yeah, David Freeze. So, and then I squared that one up a little bit too late, but I was right on it. So I was like, okay, come on, I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready. He throws me a little low inside pitch. I didn't go. Um, and so it's no outs, runners at first, and I squared it up and it looked off the bat like it was going to be out. But it wasn't even to the warning track. It was about 15, 20 feet outside of the warning track. So then we toss in uh, Adrian Gonzalez for the pitcher. And he gets a little blue pit with his 8 speed. And then Cameron Rupp has 40 speed. So there's only one out. Two lows up. And then I toss in, actually, Craig Gentry, whatever, however you say it, at uh, Adrian Gonzalez's spot, just in case I hit it in the gap, and he would for sure get home, so I was a little bit patient with uh, Tulowitzki, then it was 2-2, and I got jammed, shattered my bat, and popped out, and then Beltron comes up, grounds out, completely wasted opportunity, and you, it, it happened... Uh, actually another time in here I'm not gonna say when but here we go bottom of the third the final inning he has Fernando Rodney up he was paused for a really long time and then he ended up not even substituting anyone he probably just went to go to the bathroom or something and then he ended up popping out yeah to Stanton and David Peralta doubles down the line Stanton's gotta get on his horse chucks it in he's there in safe for second a double and then um, Neil Walker's up I get a little nervous I toss in uh, Benoit and then I intentionally walk him 
because I hate pitching to Neil Walker. And there was a runner on second anyway, so it was good. And then uh, Dawson, there's Dawson. And then he could have hit a bomb right there. I don't know what he didn't do right, but that could have been the end of the game right there. Um, he pops out to left field. Uh, Eric's up, and I hit him to load the bases for David Wright. And then I throw a perfect slider and get him to ground out, and it's yellow! And I still get him somehow. That's just, I don't even know. You should see my facial expressions right now. I still don't understand how that happened. But anyways, there was a 3-2 count that I got a hit with uh, whoever that was, honestly. Oh yeah, that was Freeze, I think. This is really, wait, is this skipped far forward? Yeah, this is the fifth inning now. And so he hit Vargas. He walks too low. Beltron, this is with two outs, by the way. Tosses in a 68 overall pitcher. John Axford throws me an inside curveball. And... I uh, grounded out. He actually accidentally stepped on home plate, but it was a force out anyway, so it worked. And we're just going to skip ahead. You know, this is the fifth inning. Sorry if this is a little confusing. But, you know, watch this go by and just see how long this game goes. This was ridiculous. This is the Battle Royale game. It's supposed to be three innings. And uh, we're still going. You know, it's the sixth inning. I'm pitching. Get him out. Uh, seventh inning, still getting them out. Now I'm now I'm batting. I think I got one runner on there. Now I'm pitching, and uh, now I'm batting. Jesus, this is just crazy. This is just think about how long this took. This is over. I think this is an over an hour game of battle royale. Now it's the bottom of the eighth. I'm pitching. Now I'm hitting. Top of the ninth. Keep, he kept it paused. Okay, and then did I get a runner on here? No, I didn't. Bottom of the ninth. This is when things got a little bit scary. Uh, Eric Thames hits a, uh, a single to center field. This was the, the most, I don't even know. This was the most intense inning of them all. The ninth, bottom of the ninth inning. David writes up. Uh, Eric's on base. I throw a terrible sinker, but... He bunts and I don't get it. I don't know. Okay, that's just so stupid. That was such an easy double play because it was a hard bunt. So he bunts so there's no because there's no outs and runners on first and second, which is smart. So he advances the runners. I intentionally walk Gaddis, of course, and then Eduardo Nunez is up, and I toss a high sinker, perfect pitch, gets him looking, and then I throw a low changeup. Boom, get him at home, throw to first, does not make it, okay, runners, or er, base is still loaded, and hold on, sorry, I had to take a little bit of a pause there, but yes, bases are still loaded, he has Trevor Rosenthal up, but then he switches to this, like, common hitter, and he grounds out, tosses it to first, and he, the pitcher runs and gets it, I would have been so pissed if that little bunt error thing would have cost me the game right there, but anyways, here we go, top of the ninth, uh, I did get one runner on, but I th figured I'd just skip it because it didn't really, he didn't advance, nothing crazy happened that inning. So now things got really scary. Bottom of the 10th, Houston Street's still, still pitching, I think it was Houston Street. I toss a sinker down there, get him to chase, he pulls it to the right side and grounds out. Then Neil, is this Neil Walker? I think it's Neil Walker. I toss a slider in, and he grounds out to short. Tulowitzki, I, I know you're wondering, why is this inning so scary? Why was it scary at all? Uh, Andre Dawson comes up. I toss a slider, and he gets an infield hit. Barely. And then Dawson ends up. So here comes uh, first pitch of the next batter. He steals. Perfect throw. Perfect throw. But Dawson's quick. He got a good jump, and I was just pissed. So I throw a slider. It doesn't get low enough. And in the bottom of the 10th inning, he walks off because of a bunt, or a swinging bunt. And, oh my gosh, this just makes me mad watching this over again. I was so pissed. This was to get... Pro, like maybe Tulowitzki, like 97 Tulowitzki, or 99 Bagwell, or 99 Bryce Harper. It was just, oh, uh, so mad. But anyways, uh, yep, it, uh, as you can tell, Buster Posey was my 12-game reward, and I ended up losing the next game.